kindergarten. I'm in preschool. I'm in first grade. I'm in fifth grade. I'm in seventh grade. I am in 11th grade. I'm a senior in college. And I have celiac disease. And I have celiac disease. Welcome to the Celiac School Action Guidelines for Education Training Program, brought to you thanks to the generous contributions of the Celiac Disease Foundation, Dr. Shar USA, and the Children's National Board of Visitors. Celiac disease is a common autoimmune condition that affects about 1% of children in the United States, most of whom attend federal and state-sponsored learning programs. The Celiac Disease School Action Guidelines for Education Training Program was designed by the Celiac Disease Program at Children's National Hospital and the Celiac Disease Foundation with conceptual, technical, and editorial help from other institutions, including Boston Children's Hospital, Cincinnati Children's Hospital, Colorado Children's Hospital, Columbia University's Celiac Disease Center, Mass General Hospital for Children, the Mayo Clinic, Nationwide Children's Hospital, Seattle Children's Hospital, and the University of Chicago Celiac Disease Center. Many education associations, public and private schools, and patient families also contributed to the program. The program is designed to provide educators, healthcare professionals, food service providers, and parents and guardians with the necessary tools to ensure the safety of a child with celiac disease in any learning environment. This training program will complement the recommendations found in the 2020 Voluntary Recommendations for Managing Celiac Disease in Learning Environments. These recommendations advocate developing a celiac disease management plan for children with celiac disease. A successful plan depends on a strong partnership among families, medical practitioners, and staff in learning environments to help children overcome challenges associated with having this chronic autoimmune condition. Depending on your role in the life of a child with celiac disease, you will be asked to complete a combination of the following training modules. Introduction, the 2020 Voluntary Recommendations for Managing Celiac Disease in Learning Environments, Celiac Disease Overview, The Gluten-Free Diet, Federal Laws and Regulations that Apply to Celiac Disease in Learning Environments, Supporting Educational and Social Development of Children with Celiac Disease, Families with Celiac Disease, What to Expect at School, For Schools, There's a Student with Celiac Disease at My School, Now What? For Medical Providers Who Diagnose and Treat Celiac Disease Patients, where gluten is found in schools and how to prevent exposure, safe gluten-free practices in shared kitchen environments and cafeterias. Please download the 2020 Voluntary Recommendations for Managing Celiac Disease and Learning Environments document before proceeding with the training modules. Before we jump into the training modules, I just want to take a moment to thank all of the participants in all of the modules that you're about to watch. We had originally planned to film this training program in a school where we could be inside classrooms, in cafeterias, and in environments where we could show you all of the things we're talking about. Unfortunately, because of COVID-19, we found ourselves at the end of March without access to any of these places and instead practicing social distancing. We didn't want to delay this project, so all of us came together and everyone from home filmed each of the different segments to contribute to the program. It looks a little different than we had thought it would, but we hope you enjoy what we put together. And thank you so much for all you do to help children with celiac disease succeed in any learning environment. <laughs>